welcome Virgo Libra to your numerology reading for February. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers, anyone new. Welcome, welcome. You guys like this? Hit that big like button and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Best numerology card. Best message. want them to know. Ooh. First card coming out is health. Talking about health, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, feeling fatigue, anything like this, make sure that you are eating healthy um, and staying on a healthy diet um, and even a healthy diet of the mind, <laughs> right? Keeping yourself um, healthy, getting plenty of sleep, things of this nature. Very nice. Even be healthy relationships in its own way as well, right? Making sure that you're keeping healthy within your relationships. Okay, clarifying on that with two cards, two or three cards, however many they're going to bring out here. We have patience. Making sure you're using a lot of patience will bring in a change. Four plus one is five, also making you very stable. And four again. So we do definitely have this stability going on. Um, with the, within the foundations of yourself. Um, and it is talking about your foundations of yourself um, and bringing in the hope with the one plus seven is eight. And then we have seven again. So the divine is really talking over here about keeping hopeful about your health and healthy situations within yourself, whatever it is that resonates with you on that, you know, mind, body, soul, um, healthy relationships, however it is, food intake, anything, sleep, Making sure you're not depriving yourself of sleep, relaxation, anything like this uh, to cause any kind of fatigue, mental or physical. Maybe even emotional. Um, so talking about that hope. Okay, so grabbing some cards over here. Clarifying on that. Keeping the hope alive and keeping the blessings going. Um, it's also going to bring in a lot of re, uh, revitalization. Um, also, we're talking about those fours over there. Um, and especially with the, the star. The hope is the star card. So knowing that things can look up. Looking up at things. Knowing everything can be better. Staying away from anything that's toxic and realizing what might be causing health issues within your life and whatever area it is and realizing that those things are toxic and they're not good for you. Okay. And just kind of realizing what it is that's going on with the devil over here. It's going to give you a better understanding. And once you have the better understanding, then you will know the joy and it'll bring back this happiness um, and bring you back to a better place of feeling fulfilled. And it's actually going to bring in the wheel of fortune it's going to bring in this beautiful change for you, um, which is, you know, sitting next to the hope. So it is this hopeful change that will be coming around um, as you sleep or do whatever it is that you need to do um, to get yourself back on track. Um, is really going to bring in a better fortune, better cycle for you. Okay, feeling healthier. Um, okay, and then you have the manifest card. So making sure that you are taking action where action needs to be taken. And I think that once you realize whatever it is that's stressing you out or causing the devil over here, causing this, this health issue, um, it's going to allow you to take that action. You know, maybe I don't sleep long enough. Maybe I don't do this. Remember guys too, um, you know, if you need any healing areas, you know, that's why I put up the meditation videos, um, for, you know, relaxation, going to sleep, hopefully it will help you fall asleep. i Tested it myself. It did a very wonderful job. Um, I did go to sleep um, and very peaceful. So, um, yeah, it did do its job. So, hopefully it will do its job for you as well. And I will try to get some more meditation videos up. I'll try to get one up every month. And remember, there's always the outro. Um, that just a couple of seconds of uh, relaxation always helps the mind. Um, but going back over here to the patients... The 
was talking about the perfect timing coming through. So that way you can see perfectly what the situations are and also opening up that intuition with the moon. And then you've got the intuition again coming out. So that you can definitely have a clearer view of what it is and really bringing on the calmness. With the moon and the queen of cups, I see a lot of calmness going on, um, you know. Um, and if you are having problems with some kind of Pisces or a Cancer, you know, then you can know that you can bring the situation to a healthier place um, of peace and calm um, as soon as you get everything done. And definitely once you realize, wow, the devil again, it's all about realizing what is really taking place and what is causing this toxic, toxicity, insomnia, um, what is it that's causing these issues within your life um, to cause you this this feeling unhealthy, um, right? Under the faith, we have the Hierophant coming up with well, faith and hope and commitment and having better commitments to yourself and to the divine. Maybe even wanting to give the divine, you know, the best thing you can do is give it to the divine so that they can fix it. Um, just but helping yourself is also a priority. You have to do that, right? They don't just take things from you um, and help you without you trying to help yourself. Um, so as they see you really taking matters into your own hands and then giving them the problem as well, then they will, you will have a better perspective and outlook on the situation at hand. Um, generosity is going to be a big thing too. And this is giving back to yourself, um, knowing that you can do the things you need to do and then having the blessings come through. Wow. With the judgment coming in, this is going to bring in a type of retribution. Um, and that's exactly what it is. It's a type of retribution for yourself as you're starting to, um, become healthy again in whatever ways um, that you're really looking for, um, whatever seems to be your issue. Everybody has their own issues, okay? Mine has been so much stress. I was having insomnia, which is very strange. I love sleeping. I don't get insomnia very often, my friends. So um, <laughs> it was really weird for me to not be going to bed until like tossing and turning until 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, but as I said before, my dog was sick. I don't know if I told you guys that, but um, she's all healed now. I did a lot of manifesting, a lot of prayers, um, and she's all better now. Um, praise God. Like, not even a joke. Um, only for the fact that, yeah, she um, was literally dying, and it's a miracle in itself. Okay? And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Goodbye.